This is Darren with Spread Edge Capital. This week, I will highlight a short cocoa spread that was featured in this past weekend's newsletter. Before I cover the cocoa spread, I'd like to follow up on the live cattle trade featured last week. On the left is a chart from Peak Trading Research. Peak is an excellent data source that I use for much of my research insights. This chart shows that last Friday, 217, live cattle entered the most seasonally bearish period of the year. Prices tend to drop from now until late May. On the right is an updated chart showing relative price and positioning. Note that live cattle continues to be one of the most expensive and overbought markets in the agriculture complex. For more details on the live cattle trade, refer to the video posted last week. This page shows the Commodity Outlook summary page that is included in the newsletter. The Commodity Outlook includes weekly price change, seasonality, commitment of traders, relative positioning, CTA positioning, relative strength, and the commodity carry and roll. Each of these indicators are explained in detail in the weekly newsletter. Looking at the outlook summary, there are several things that jump out at me. First, cocoa was up 6.2% last week, second only to Arabica copy. Second, seasonality is bearish, which is represented by the negative 72 score in the current week. Third, relative price indicates cocoa is expensive at the current level. Fourth, momentum is maxed out at 10. And finally, the relative strength index is 71 and increased 20 points last week. I'll provide more detail on each of these indicators on the following pages. Please note, Trading futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. There are no guarantee of profits no matter who is trading your account. Looking at price change for COCO, last week COCO made a strong move higher and closed the week just off its highs for the week and just below the high set last February. Note on the weekly chart that COCO is currently running into overhead resistance dating back to 2020. More importantly, the tops of the past two big moves both occurred in February, 2020 and 2022. On a daily chart, COCO looks to be running out of steam. The Thursday candle is a neutral doji candle followed by a more bearish shooting star candle on Friday. Given this trade is scheduled for Thursday of next week, or this week, there will be a couple more trading days to see a confirmation to these candles. Seasonality data is generated by Seasonalgo. Entry and exit dates are analyzed and scored for every possible expiration month combination. Scores are based on a proprietary formula that considers average profit, drawdown, and win percent over the most recent 15-year period. Negative values indicate sell, Positive indicate buy, blanks indicate no significant seasonal trend. The higher the value, the stronger the historical seasonality trend. Coco has a bearish seasonality score of negative 72 and is amongst the strongest bearish markets for the week. Note also that seasonality score for Coco gets more bearish over the next two weeks and peaks at a negative 108 during the week of March 5th through 11th. The CTA positioning and momentum score is an accurate measure of current momentum and trend following trader positioning using a positive 10 to negative 10 scale. Momentum and trend following traders represent a large percentage of trading and can move markets significantly higher or lower. Also included is the relative strength index, which is a momentum oscillator that measures the speed and change of price movements. RSI has a scale of 0 to 100. COCO currently has a maximum 10 momentum score, indicating that CTAs are fully invested and have no additional trading capital to add to existing longs. Looking at relative strength, COCO has an RSI score of 71 and had a massive 20-point increase last week. Traditional wisdom is that scores above 70 or below 30 are ripe for reversal. 
Finally, a quick look at the spread chart indicates a good setup for this trade. Note that the current price, which is represented by the black line, is consistent with the five-year and 15-year historical patterns, which is represented by the red and blue lines. To trade this, I will sell the COCO September 23, December 23 calendar spread. Note that this trade is not scheduled to close until mid-July and thus has an exceptionally long holding period. Note also that the expiration months are well out from the front month and therefore will initially have relatively low volatility. Also, remember that seasonality scores get stronger over the next few weeks, so I will likely add to my COCO position with an additional short COCO calendar spread. By the way, for more information on spread charts, the video on my website, spreadedgecapital.com, has a video entitled Anatomy of a Spread Chart. You can participate in the Spread Edge strategy in two ways. Both involve your broker, your account, and your money. This can be done through a subscription service where you place the trades yourself based on the recommendations posted in advance in the weekly newsletter or through a professionally managed account for the standard management and incentive fees. Both options have identical trades and strategy. That's all for now. Please like, share, and subscribe. To subscribe to the newsletter, go to www.spreadedgecapital.com forward slash products.